Hello and welcome. This is uh, Freedom Master Vedant Goswami. <clears throat> mm, today, uh, we are going to see an uh, interesting moment from one of my games. So, usually I play this uh, 2 plus 1 blitz on leechessinchess.com uh, with the idea of uh, basically playing some interesting chess, some uh, try some interesting ideas and uh, see how it goes. Uh, usually you make a lot of blunders, but sometimes get to play some interesting games. So this is one of those. And uh, in particular, there was an instance in which uh, I had an opportunity to sacrifice an exchange. So uh, we look at that position and try to understand what are the particular positions where exchange sacrifices are possible and in fact beneficial. Okay, so <clears throat> we'll go through the game. White started with e4. I play the Karukan and uh, some irregular variation of Karukan. In Blitz, I don't want to play my main line openings, uh, which require, uh, you know, remembering a lot of theory. Uh, and uh, if you play lo a lot of theory, it is also easy for your opponent to just play some more. So when I play uh, Blitz, I usually try to play some sideline, some interesting chess where you can simply play chess without not trying to <clears throat> memorize or remember too much. And also has the benefit that opponent has to think on their own. So in a 3d5, bishop d3, bishop g4, everything regular. Uh, bishop, sorry. Yeah, so here I am threatening this pawn because of the pin. Plays e5 and uh, I break with c5. Usually, I think it is, uh, you know, uh, done as early as possible because otherwise white has some space in the center and uh, that can be very limiting for black. Okay, so D into C5 and then C6. I'm trying to recapture this pawn. It is not so easy to save it. Bishop F4 and uh, Knight into E5. Again, because of the pin, I can capture it. Bishop B5 and and c6 doesn't make sense to move the king or uh, bring the bishop back that would be a blunder in fact if the bishop comes back then uh, let me see i was wondering if white can play this yeah so it is simply a blunder because the knight uh, bishop on b5 is supported and if queen a5 knight simply go back to c3 so yeah and c6 makes sense and then castles, and now uh, black can complete development, and f6, h3, takes, takes, and castles. Very important step to complete development. Okay, to d1, e6. So if we see white has his central pawn removed from the important d4 square, and black has a very solid pawn chain, that will be the basis of the upcoming exchange sacrifice. Rook f2, e1, and d7, and I'm going to recover this pawn on c5, and white played bishop d6. Now, of course, I can play rook e8, and uh, but I was worried that if white plays a3 and b4 and, you know, solidify his pawn chain, it will be difficult to recover the pawn. Okay, so at this moment, I played queen a5. Uh, and uh, I will explain my thinking as we go ahead. We, of course, black is offering an exchange sacrifice. But the idea uh, behind this sacri exchange sacrifice is that uh, I was hoping I I'll be able to weaken this pawn structure and uh, also recover this pawn. Okay, And the rooks are not so particularly useful when they are blocked by this powerful pawn chain. Okay, so the power of the rooks won't be immediately uh, visible or neither it will be easy to actually make the rooks useful in the game, which is what actually happened in the game. So white took bishop into c6, b into c6, went ahead to take the exchange, captured with the rook and a3. Idea is very simple, maybe to play b4, but I don't know whether that actually is possible because of queen a3. Anyway, I took the queen into c5. Now, if we see, 
black is exchanged down okay so but if you appreciate that it is a very powerful pawn structure and the rooks are particularly useful when they are in open lines so right now there are no open lines further i am threatening to destroy the pawn structure bishop c3 making the opponent's pawn structure even weaker okay so in this position white actually blundered with rook d3 allowing uh, knight e5 queen goes to e3 and here uh, maybe there are many tactics possible uh, maybe i can even play d4 but i thought it was not necessary because without doing anything i was getting a good position and nc4 and again if you see the rooks <clears throat> are positioned well they are doubled but to no avail because they are in a closed file there is in a semi close file the pawn structure of black is restricting the rooks and making them totally useless while black's minor pieces are very mobile and are putting extreme pressure on in fact winning this whole structure so rook goes to e2 knight b2 and almost now it's a hopeless position for white because even though now i don't think even he is more in material but if we see the hopelessness of the white rooks that will be the thing to note in this particular game um they are absolutely uh, useless because they are restricted by the uh, black pawn chain and uh, this is one of the features that you can look out for opportunities in your games to to sacrifice the exchange uh, in particularly when the opponent's rooks cannot be used it is not so easy for them to be placed in an open file or it is not possible for the opponent to open some file to use the rooks in those are the positions where you can sacrifice exchanges <clears throat> and uh, in this position my opponent chose to resign because uh, black uh, has lot of ways to win the game one is <clears throat> simply push the pawn to a1 which will win a rook because the pawn is supported by the extremely powerful bishop on g7 okay so a interesting game uh, these games uh, i'm sure will have some mistakes these are blitz games but again like i said in the beginning my idea is to play when i play it is not to increase my rating or you know do something but to play interesting chess and uh, with the, this game i was happy because i was able to uh, uh, apply a concept i was aware of but usually uh, not uh, did not have an opportunity to actually apply which is the exchange sacrifice okay so i hope uh, this was interesting for you and uh, you saw how uh, pawn structures can restrict the uh, behavior of certain pieces particularly the rooks okay so Uh, thank you so for, much for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next one take care